Today I have a quick tutorial on how to make cash envelopes um, using cardstock paper. Uh, these are perfect for your wallet or for your binder. So if you're interested in making these, keep on watching. Alright, so here's a couple things that you'll need. You'll need a laminator, a paper trimmer, uh, mine is from the Recollections collection, 12 by 12 um, cardstock paper, some laminating sheets, 5 ml, um, this is a adjustable six hole punch. These are typically used for planners or binders. And last but not least, um, I got this craft tool kit from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, but I use the plastic scraper with the velvet top um, to make creases on my paper. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna um, fast forward and try to go through this as quickly as I can. Um, so I'm just gonna pick out a couple card stocks, 12 by 12. Um, you can get these at any local craft store. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a few just to show you um, the wallet size and then the binder cash envelopes. So let's go ahead and start off with the wallet size. The measurements on the regular size are six and a quarter in length. So I try to line my paper just as best as I can and I go ahead and give that a quick trim. The width of this would be six inches, and I usually get about two envelopes per 12 by 12 uh, cardstock sheet. And I usually go ahead and we'll save the scraps, and you'll see why at the end of the video. So I'll just fast forward this. <laughs> pre-cut paper and I usually um, have a stack of these ready to go and I have different colors I have different um, prints but I'll stick with the ones that we did today so here I'm just making sure that it's aligned at six and a quarter um, that is the side that I'll be folding and again I'm just making sure it's six and a quarter that's the side that I'll be folding and making the crease on um, so what I usually do is I will use that plastic yellow handy dandy tool plastic scraper what I do is make sure that I'm using the edge of the scraper just to align my paper I'll make sure that it's nice and straight and then I'll use that velvet side to kind of smooth the crease um, I love that velvet side because it doesn't wrinkle the paper it just it it's just really really an awesome tool again I'm just aligning it with the scraper the, the plastic part and then just smoothing it out again with the velvet. So I will go ahead and fast forward to the next step. Let's go ahead and turn on our laminators um, and select the 5ml and let's make sure that the ready button is also highlighted once it's ready to go. Um, I got my scotch laminator from Amazon and this, I also got these um, laminating sheets, the 5ml. They come in a 100 pack for 20 bucks on Amazon so I'll be sure to link these um, below in, in the description bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a few sheets out and just go ahead and show you how I align my envelopes. So what I'll do is I'll align the cash envelopes. It's usually three per sheet. The sheet's about nine by eleven and a half. And I want to make sure that that crease of the envelope is on the outer part of the laminating sheet. So I put one on one side and the other one on the other side. And the third one will kind of lay flat in between the two. 
So again, just making sure that that crease is towards the outer part of the laminating sheet. And the third one, again, more just kind of lay flat. Um, and again, that crease will go towards the outer part. And this is just to make sure that we have enough room to go ahead and uh, trim it. So I will go ahead and press forward. Let's go ahead and cut these envelopes. Um, I usually try to get to close to the seam as I can without trying to open the seal. Um, so what I'm doing here is just making sure to trim the sides, um, but again, don't open that seal. And I try to get them as straight as possible. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and do it the other side. And then what I usually do is I always start with the side that has the crease. So I will get to align it. I don't know if you can kind of tell a three inch mark on the left side of that ruler. And then again, I will switch it over and align it with that three inch mark. And that will go ahead and make sure that they're all the same size and that the seal is broken because we want to put the money in through that, through that way. So there you go. Again, we're going to go ahead and do the same steps. We're going to go ahead and cut the envelopes. Again, we want to try to cut enough, but not too close to where we break the, the seal. So, and, and these with the three hole punch, um, we want to make sure we leave enough room, obviously, to do that three hole punch. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start again. I usually start with the sides. I want to make sure that I get close enough, but not too close to, to open that seal. I like my sides nice and straight. Again, trim that side. And I usually start with the opening of the envelope. So I will align the envelope with that three inch mark to open it and make a seal. Again, that three inch mark, open it up and it opens up that envelope. So that's gonna be our opening. And now with the three hole punch, make sure you align that open end to that three and a quarter. Okay, so align it again with that three and a quarter. Make sure the envelope is nice and straight. See that? And go ahead and give that a trim. And that, my friends, leaves us with that three hole punch. And they'll all be the same size, which is nice. So, again, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Make sure we trim those sides. Always start with the. Um, part that we're going to open. So we're going to unseal it and then go ahead and line it up with that three and a quarter. All right, so I will go ahead and fast forward. All right, and there you have it. So let's go ahead and get the adjustable punch hole. Um, this I purchased on Amazon and it has different settings, different adjustments. You can definitely use it for A5, A6, a mini planner, um, pocket planner, etc. Um, so the one I'll be using today is a clear um, A6 binder and I purchased this from Amazon. Um, and I'll leave a link to everything that I purchased. So we'll just go ahead and get them hole punched. <music> Also, um, before I forget, remember I told you how to save those scraps? Well, these are the, I make many envelopes with those scraps. Um, so that is something you want, you're interested in or you want to see a DIY. 
let me know. But these really cute um, envelopes, mini envelopes, come with those extra scraps that we have. And again, there's these um, clear envelopes that we make um, for the binder with the custom labels with the Cricut machine. Um, there's different prints, different styles. If it's something you're interested in, let me know and uh, comment below. And here's my personal binder. Um, I have the Mickey logo with the Mama name in the front. And again, here's some of those Dollar Tree stickers that I used. Um, again, so you, there's just so many ways to style them. There's so many labels. You can buy them on Etsy. Um, I have some on my shop. You can make them. You can use washi tape. There's just so many ways to go ahead and customize these binders and make them fun. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. If there's something you guys want to see, let me know. Um, and again, subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Mm -hmm.